In the event of a flat tire, first, make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface, safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Turn off the ignition, turn the hazard lights on, and set the parking brake. If possible, block the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite the jacking position. For example, if the right front tire is damaged, block the left rear tire. You'll find the jack tools, spare tire, and laminated instruction sheet underneath the load floor in the rear cargo area. Lift the load floor and prop it upright in the groove provided. Remove the wing nut from the spare tire, then remove the spare. Remove the jack tools stowed below the spare itself. Now loosen, but do not remove the wheel bolts one turn counterclockwise with the wheel still on the ground. Place the jack under the jacking location closest to the flat tire. An arrow-shaped indentation should indicate the saddle cutout. Center the jack saddle inside the cutout. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Once it's engaged, turn the jack screw clockwise and raise the vehicle until the tire just clears the surface with enough room to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the wheel bolts and wheel. Remove the alignment pin from the jack assembly and thread the pin into the wheel hub to assist in mounting the spare tire. Mount the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. Damage could occur if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Next, reinstall the wheel bolts and lightly tighten them clockwise. At this point, it's safe to remove the alignment pin. Turn the jack screw counterclockwise to lower the vehicle, then remove the jack. Once on the ground, tighten the wheel bolts. Alternate wheel bolts until you've tightened each one twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the wheel bolts. Have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. Finally, secure the tire, jack, and tools in their proper locations, remove any blocks from the wheels, and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.